my friends today back with another tutorial this one is going to be in after effects i'm going to be showing you guys a quick easy way to create a cool scene burning flame burning transition you guys will probably get what i'm talking about from the example you saw at the beginning um it's actually very easy like i said so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this part of the timeline in premiere and i'm going to bring that into after effects if you guys only have after effects you can just open up your sequence into after effects so i'm going to select these two nest them and i'm going to right click place with after effects composition and now we're going to be in after effects before i start this tutorial i just want to remind you guys if you guys are new here go ahead and click that subscribe button we've got regular content tutorials music videos other stuff coming soon if you guys enjoy this kind of content please leave a like on the video it helps the growth of this channel a huge amount so i greatly greatly appreciate it there's two methods you can use to be able to do this and both of them are plugins that you're going to be needing to do um the first one is a free plugin that anyone can get for after effects so, so i'm going to be doing it that way just because that's probably the most common way people are going to be doing it since it's free and then the second way is you can actually do this also with the trap code universe effect which i'm going to show you guys at the end of this video as well so let's start off with the free way you're going to have to go into the description and you're going to have to download the video copilot saber plugin i have another video talking all about saber and different little things you can do with it down in the description below if you guys want to check that out and see the full things that you can do with saber super super useful plugin one of the best free plugins for after effects in my opinion okay guys so now that you have your footage in after effects there's a few steps what you're going to be able to do to be able to set up for this transition and then create the desired effect so first off let's go ahead and find on our timeline where we would like to create the transition so i'm going to create it right here where there's this jump so i'm just going to put my cursor there select the clip and then click Control shift d so that's going to cut them into two parts i'm going to take this bottom part i'm going to rename this i'm going to name this part one i'm going to rename this one part two just to keep this a little more organized for you guys i'm going to drag part one above part two just like that what we're going to do is we're going to create the burn away effect and then we're going to place something underneath that we're going to come up to layer new and then we're going to click solid and then just go ahead and click ok it doesn't matter about any of the settings for that next come over here to your effects and presets and look up that saber effect that i was talking about at the beginning um if you install it correctly it should be here in your effects library go ahead and take that and drag that onto your solid Next, we're gonna do a few things just to be able to create the look that we want. So we're gonna change around some of these settings up here in the effect controls in the top left. Go ahead and change alpha mode from disabled to mask glow. Then come over and open up render settings. Change composite settings from black to transparent. And then go ahead and open up customize core. And then you can change core type from saber to layer mask. And then once you've done that, you can come up to the presets and choose any of these preset looks that you would like. So it doesn't exactly have to be some kind of like burnt paper thing. You can have just kind of like any of these presets. I'm just going to stick with this fire preset right here. You can change any of the colors, any of the glow settings, however you would like it. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to drag to the beginning of this clip. We're ready to be able to actually create the transition. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to click on our pen tool right here. And we're just going to draw a small circle in the corner of this scene right there. And you're going to see since we set the settings on to layer mask right here under customized core any mask that we draw the saber effect is going to stick onto that so now what we need to do is actually animate this mask to wipe away this layer so go ahead and click the m key it's going to bring up your mask options as you see right here and then go ahead and just click this button next to mask path to create a keyframe so we're actually going to create an animation to be able to move this mask so now you can use your keyboard just click page down a few times to move a few frames and then go ahead and click white solid to select it and we're just going to select grab these joints and we're just going to drag it up as if the fire is moving across the scene and make sure you kind of move these bendy joints i have a video about the best ways to mask um, to get best masking if you move these joints it's going to look a lot better than if you kind of just have it square it's going to look more authentic and then just move a few frames down keep dragging that mask up like this move a few frames down keep dragging that mask over and then we're going to do it one more time until this actually finishes off and then we're going to get to the end of this clip and we're just going to drag this mask so that it is all the way off the screen like this so make sure it is completely off the screen and since we made those keyframes you can actually see how the mask is moving from the keyframe we made and since the mask is moving and we have the saber effect stuck onto that the saber and the fire animation is going to be moving as if it's burning away the scene so now we have one thing left to do we just need to get rid of all this stuff which is inside the mask so pretty easy to do that just come over here where it says mask one instead of having it say add just change that to subtract just like that and now what we're going to do is drag to the beginning um, where we made our first keyframe so right here we're going to go ahead and click on our mask where it says mask one click Control c 
click on part one and click control V. So all we did was just paste the same exact mask. If I click M, you'll see it again right here onto that part one, which is just our actual layer. So we're deleting everything which is inside the mask right here. And then we have our animation over top of that. So it's gonna wipe away. The last step that we have to do, we just need to have a little placeholder right here so that it's not just transparent. There's actually something underneath that. So what I like to do is I'm actually gonna just go over to part two and I'm gonna move over one frame. So just click page down. And then I'm going to click, click control shift D again. So what I did was I cut out only one tiny little frame as we're seeing right here. Placeholder, so you guys don't get confused. It's gonna be at the very bottom. Right click on that clip, go to time and then go to freeze frame. So right here. And then if we drag this one frame out, all the way to the beginning where these keyframes start, you're gonna see that what we have is one frozen frame, which is not moving and is underneath all this. So as you drag, you're gonna see this isn't moving. Once it gets dragged, once everything gets burnt away completely, then part two will come in, start playing, and you'll have it right here. So to follow those steps, I'm gonna click file save, and I'm just gonna go into Premiere to show you what we just made. We have this cool wipe away transition, kind of like a burning transition. Um, I actually applied it where there's, I actually applied it to a clip where there's already um, black bars in it so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to apply a quick little cinematic bars effect so that it looks a little bit better you don't have to do this obviously this is just because the clip has these bars so here's what that looks like without touching the bars that looks pretty cool i think it's a really cool creative transition and like i said you can go through and you can change the preset on your white solid you can change what it looks like to energize um, any of these presets which you like you can go through and create so many different effects now i do want to mention there is another method which is a very which is a lot easier than doing this step by step every single time if you do have the universe plugins, there's a plugin called universe ecto, which is very similar to Saber. I'm going to show you that very, very quick. So I'm just going to delete this. Do have universe ecto. What you can do is you can look up ecto in your effects library. Instead of creating masks, doing all that extra work, apply ecto onto your top clip like that. Now draw one mask in the corner like this. You're going to see ecto goes on the mask automatically. You can change any of the presets kind of like Saber. And then what you can do is actually just go over to your mask settings right here. So click M, open that up, change it to subtract. And then what you can do is just keyframe here, go to the end so that it goes and it takes away all that. Um, if it doesn't actually take away the full scene, what you can do is also add in some mask path to help it out. But the cool thing about using this method is you can actually use mask expansion um, to be able to help you out. And so that's another way to be able to do this. Um, you can change any of the settings for universe ecto up here. So if you don't want any of this glowing, which it comes with, what you can do is come over here to the glow settings and then under post glow right here you can just bump that down and very similar i kind of went fast explaining that one but just rewatch the video if you're a little bit confused on how to do that it's basically using the same exact steps except it's using universe ecto instead of saber thank you so much for watching this was a little bit more of like an intermediate to advanced tutorial i'd say but once you get the hang of this it actually is very very simple it just takes a little bit more understanding of how layers work so if you guys are new here if you guys are more of the beginner level definitely subscribe check out my channel we have a lot more beginner videos advanced videos something for everybody check out my website link down in the description we have thousands of free resources for you guys to use for your videos as well as effects packs transition packs a bunch of other cool creator stuff we even have vocal presets now so that's growing into something really really awesome proud to share that with you guys anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys later